What's up, folks? I it's a uh, late uh, Saturday night, or I'm getting late Saturday night, and um, doing some social media stuff. And so this um, great website that I want to do a quick review on called Campaign Zero. It was shared by uh, the activist and uh, social change organizer. Um, What's his name? Uh, excuse me. D. Ray, uh, Baltimore. Okay, guys. D. Ray McKen uh, Kenson. Um, oh, bummer. He finished in sixth. I was hoping he'll at least get closer to that. Um, anyways, um, he shared this website on his Twitter feed. And uh, I came across it a long time ago, and I uh, thought it was impressive, and then I just must have forgot about it. But um, they just got even better. Check out this social change website, Campaign Zero, basically uh, to end police violence in America. In America, this is their mission statement, essentially. Okay, um, and this is their mission statement. Um, looks like it was a little glitchy there for a second. Going on here, anyways. Um, and look at this boom! Great use of infographics. Um, I forgot there's a service that pretty much takes any type of information and converts it to infographic. And uh, if you don't know, infographics convert um, visitors into um, you know uh, users or email subscribers. Um, and look at this, you can download this graphic. Now here's here's you know where it gets critical. If I want to download this graphic, they should make me email sign up for their email newsletter. Let's see if it happens. Nope. Did you give it to me? See, this is this would have been a great opportunity to for them to stay in contact with me because I, by downloading this graphic, I'm telling them this is valuable to me. And by them, if they see and they notice that it's valuable to me, um, that they would s somehow determine that maybe we should keep in contact with this person and then leave it up to me whether or not, you know, I want to have that exchange. You know, um, there's so many people who have those second, you know, crap email accounts for coupons and certain services, right? You know, I can just give you that, or I can just say, you know, I'd rather not. I changed my mind. I'd rather not give you my email account in exchange for this infographic. Um, but that would have been a great opportunity to do that. But in any event, it's still pretty awesome that they did um, this infographic here and really 10 point system explaining what they want. Um, learn more about uh, uh, Campaign Zero here and Sweet sweet way to break down um, some really uh, important information um, in a legislative level. Now this is where like bonkers, like how they make this work, right? I'm based out of New Jersey and Philadelphia. That's where Pimp is based out of. And I can click on New Jersey and get some things in terms of bills that were introduced. Okay. For uh, legislation to vote on, how dope is that? Okay, and it breaks it down. And then here, zip code, find your rep. Another uh, beautiful way to busy proof the follow up process, right? Um, usually they say demand action from your representatives. You know, here's how to find your representative. Cool, I'm busy. I'm probably not going to do that. How can you make it easy for them? Boom, you busy proof it. You know, you you pretty much oil up the gears so that you can make it seamless for them to really take the next step. Um, there's a saying, um, man, I, I'm forgetting the quote. It says, "Sales is nothing but a series of small yeses." Well, this, if you think about sales, it's really you know trying to get someone from point A to point B, whether it's a product. Um, but in this case, your position or 
your action or your follow through that you're asking someone to consider. And if you get them to do small yeses, you're more likely to get them to cross the finish line to have something big. And it um, looks like they do that here, you know, with uh, just your zip code. Good stuff. So, man, like the slick website, uh, the, the use of infographics, the use of keeping track of the legislation, um, you know, and then the zip code piece. Powerful, powerful stuff. Uh, again, I wish they made the email piece a little more um, prominent. I think they would do well um, to do that. Uh, but man, do they do everything else so, so effectively? And look, and look at these tabs: Campaign Zero. It's about them essentially. Here's a problem. Here's a solution. Here are the reports and the data to back that up. Here's some, you know, place you can do feedback. And here's pretty much the leadership team. They call it the planning team. Okay. And actually, I just followed her on Twitter too. Um, these guys are just crushing it, crushing it. Um, so great use of a website. Uh, if you don't know, Pambizio is all about helping social change organizations um, you know become more effective and uh, if you, you know if you're getting this um, from a friend who shared it please like our page but more importantly please go to Invisio.org um, to get access to um, some of our uh, resources uh, our mailings and um, our podcasts especially Okay, we're big on technology and, and amplifying social change. And here's a latest episode with Sean Anderson on social change through technology. And actually, he was featured on, uh, he was actually head up the 9 11 um, uh, Museum, their website, and some of the apps that came out of there that won awards on how to make something like, you know, like the 9 11 Memorial engaging and even inviting, right? It's a very dark time in history. But um, he made it in a way that was um, took the story and um, really highlighted how to make it um, accessible for everyone and uh, really just amplify the effectiveness of that whole um, you know time in history um, for the country. So very powerful stuff. Um, so definitely, definitely check out that episode. Uh, but that's it for now. Um, Campaign Zero, sign up for the newsletter for them too because, you know, this is some serious, serious uh, organizing they're doing here, and it seems like you can really get involved pretty easily. Um, Pinvisor.org, guys. Catch you guys later. Be well.